ya. What's up guys? Welcome back. Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 42. It has been six weeks since we have worked and remodeled a bathroom in an occupied home, so we're excited to get back at it. We have a full bathroom remodel here. Let's quickly turn the camera around, show you the existing, and then we'll get right to work. Delete the shower, bring everything down to studs. We're gonna be pulling the subfloor. There's a lot of termite damage. I'll show you that right now. So here we go. We're going to be installing vinyl planks for the flooring all the way into the toilet room as well as this closet here. We will be removing and replacing this vanity with an all-in-one vanity kit. Removing these decorative lights, install one decorative here, four inch can, four inch can there, LED. Let's bring you on into the shower room. So here's the subfloor. We pulled up the linoleum. We thought at first this was water damage because it is very, very squishy. But upon investigation, they have some termite damage. Let's show you here. Yeah. So we're going to be replacing this subfloor here, partial subfloor out here. The subfloor underneath this fiberglass tray, we are going to treat the termite issue, remove this builder's grade shower, three by three. We are going to install an eight by eight tile for the shower pan, 12 by 24 for the walls, 12 by 20 niche, install a new valve, of course, raise the shower head up, and that's pretty much it. This build should take about 10 days. Let's get to work, here we go. Subfloor is almost out. All right guys, the new subfloor is installed intact. We have our niche installed proper layout. We will have 12 by 24 inch tiles ending right at the edge of the niche. This is a 12 by 28 inch niche, very large. It's now time to delete this valve, install a new valve, raise the shower head, install our curdy board, backer board on these walls, install the shower pan curb, waterproof everything. Here we go, let's get to work. using an eight by eight trowel. Time to waterproof the shower. Here we go.
What's up guys? We are on day two. Let's show you the progress that we have made and uh, what needs to be done next. Quickly, we'll show you our setup here. So here's the bedroom. We close it off with plastic. We have an air conditioning unit running here. It's about 90 degrees in the house. So fortunately, it's a little cooler in the bathroom, about 75 degrees. Again, this vanity will be ripped out. So we're using it to store tools. Come around in here. This is the closet again. We are replacing all the flooring in the closet. We will be painting the closet, but this is our setup. We've got the amazing IQ dustless waterless tile saw in here. No mess, it cuts fantastic. It really does. So we're gonna be cutting 12 by 24 porcelain and eight inch by eight inch porcelain for the shower pan. And for the deco behind the niche, here is the shower. Large 28 inch niche, everything is waterproofed. We've got a few more waterproofing things to do, but all in all, a lot has been done. We're gonna install this vent fan up here. We installed a can light there today, two can lights there. That's the original for a decorative light that will hang. We scraped off popcorn ceiling. We need to skim this and spray texture to match and of course paint this bathroom. So a lot of work has been completed. We're gonna get back to it, finalize day two and uh, have some fun with this bathroom remodel. There's our four inch curb. Let's have some fun, cut some tile with our IQ saw. Here we go. We will put this frosh tile leveling system to the test, see how well it performs. The wedges are very nice. The question is how clean these clips break off. Let me show you something really cool about these frosh wedges. The tip right there is a 1 32nd of an inch you can use for a spacer and the back. I don't know if you can see that, one sixteenth of an inch. So yeah, they can be used as spacers just like this rather than horseshoe spacers or your little wedges. Pretty neat, Frosh, pretty neat. We like it. Always protect your pan. We have some curdy down to protect the pan. Ledger board up, time to install. Stay 